The mists of time do not obscure the history of hockey in the San Francisco Bay Area. Many of us recall an era 25 years ago when the Oakland Seals entered the NHL. For those involved, expansion hockey was both a thrill and a struggle. Well, of course, I was real young at the time, and, and uh, it was my first chance to play in the National Hockey League, and of course, that's what I wanted to do all my life. And, and what I can remember is, you know, I really enjoyed it. Uh, of course, as you can see the weather here right now, that's basically what the weather is during the hockey season, too. So uh, there are a lot of things that you can do besides play hockey, of course. And, uh, you can play golf, tennis, all the outdoor sports all year round. And I think that basically held back the uh, fans in the, in the uh, Oakland area when we had the team because we weren't winning. And then all of a sudden the draft came along and the World Hockey League came along and we lost half the players. So uh, the nucleus that we had in Oakland was really, really good. And I think we could have been a contender, but it just fell apart. In six out of their nine years, the Oakland Seals, or later the California Golden Seals, finished last. Not exactly the Seals of approval. It kind of wears on you, you know, you, you, you go to the rink and, uh, you know, there's, it's just not a one-man game. 18, 20 of us play it and uh, it gets a little disheartening after you, uh, you know, go on the road and lose about 15 in a row and come home and think, okay, things are going to change around. All of a sudden you lose five or six more and you go into a, a tailspin and lose 20 games. It is tough, it's, and uh, it's a little tough to go to the rink, but uh, once you get that one win under your belt, you think, okay, here it comes. And, uh, uh, but when you only win 20 games a year, it is real, real tough. Ernie Hickey was a member of the California Golden Seals in the early 70s. In those days, Bobby Orr was revolutionizing hockey, and Hickey and his teammates found out firsthand how Orr could take over a game. I can remember, for instance, we were playing in Oakland. Uh, we were ahead. 6 nothing going into the second period, and we just overheard the conversation through one of our stick boys, and Orr had said in the dressing room that uh, they weren't going to lose. We came out and scored two goals. They scored nine in that period to beat us 9-8. He got four goals and five assists. From the legendary to the trivial, Hickey remains with Guy Lafleur the answer to one of hockey's best trivia questions. In 1970, the Seals acquired Hickey by trading the rights to the first overall draft choice to Montreal. That turned out to be Guy Lafleur. It really doesn't bother me. You know, it's, it's kind of, uh, I shouldn't say it's a pat on the back to me, but Guy, I, I think, you know, Guy Lafleur, again, is, is in a class all of his own. And for me to be uh, traded, or uh, the draft choice was traded for me, um, I kind of smile when somebody says it to me, but uh, I think that Montreal got the better end of the deal, that's for sure.